You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we are going to talk about the 17th Annual Mayor's Youth Summit. Here joining me in studio is Brennan. Welcome. Nice Hi. to see you. Nice to meet you. I remember your uh, <laughs> face from before. You said this is your fifth youth summit yes, that you've been involved is. in, yeah. which means you're on the youth council. I am on the youth council. Okay. Yes. And the youth council is responsible for planning and organizing this along with the mayor's office with the Promise Fellow? Yes, yes we are. Okay, so um, let's talk, first of all, it's a Thursday. It is on a Thursday. And um, it's April 14th? April 14th at 6, no, what am I saying, it ends at 6. Uh, right after school, um, we planned it that way so that way Brockton High kids and also middle school kids get the opportunity on a weekday to have something to do after school and they can just easily have access to the location and the place and just come on down and have fun. So it's in the red building. Yes. Uh, it's, it kind of starts and ends in the red cafeteria, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, and it's every young person's opportunity to do a little networking, a little planning, and then at the end, tell the mayor of the city of Brockton what the youth are looking for, correct? Yes, this is correct. Okay. Um, the ages on it are, it, you, when you say middle school, so it's Thir yes. Thirteen. Uh, yes, and it goes anywhere between any in the eighth grade all the way up to being a senior. Uh, our ages actually range from thirteen to twenty-one. So as long as you're under twenty-one, you're able to go. Okay. So what's 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 your favorite part of it? If you've do, if you've done this for five years, you're already a veteran. So what what's the best? I would have to say just being in the rooms and listening to what these kids have to say about Brockton. I've had so many opportunities to just sit down and talk to people about how they feel and what they think and what can be changed. And I really enjoy taking away from that and being able to put that in to our meetings with the council and being able to put forth their ideas into what we do every day is plan events. Any particular event or thing you remember, I'm not trying to put you on the spot or anything, but being at it for five years, something that came out of maybe one of the other youth summits, a, a concrete idea or a, or a program you guys developed based out of a, out of a youth summit? Um, our most popular event is our open mic night, which we have every couple of months. Mm -hmm. We hold it at the main branch library, and that came up when one of our past members was talking in one of their rooms, and they said, we have nothing to do after school and we don't have access to the arts. So one of our members actually planned herself and developed this whole open mic idea and pitched it herself. And then we as a council supported her and backed her up. And then we were able to put it on and we have for years now. And I'm not sure if I remember her name, but I remember her coming before our library board. I happened to be on the library board mm -hmm. and we opened up the library because where do you go when school's closed? to the library, yes. so it made a lot of sense. And I we did some coverage of, of, of at least a couple of the, the open mm -hmm. mics. Um, you know, you get food at yes. the end. Yes, you do. We feed you, there's snacks there, and then there's like resource booths and tables and stuff. Yeah. Any, any you know, hints of who's there? Uh, right now we're building a bigger list every mm -hmm. day. People are asking, people ask, colleges ask to come all the time. Mm -hmm. We have Massasoit coming, the UMasses, some of the UMasses are coming. Uh, Boys and Girls Club is going to have a table there. Um, health um, resources are going to be there for kids who want ideas on how to stay healthy, things like that. Like, it's going to be big. I know that. Are uh, you hoping, I mean, what's the capacity? I mean, I know when I went to Brockton High a long time ago, that cafeteria was homeroom and it was 400 kids. That's how many people fit in there at the tables when they're not configured the way oh, wow. they're configured. But how many, how many have you had in the past? In the past, it has ranged anywhere between 300 to 500 youth. Mm -hmm. um, we're expecting anywhere between that, hopefully closer to the 500 mark, because mm -hmm. last year we had about 450, so we're trying to beat that record. Every year we try and go a little bit higher, so that's what we're looking towards. Let me ask you a question. You've done this, again, five years, under two different mayors, Mayor Carpenter now and former Mayor Belzotti. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the mayor of the city, whoever that person might be, listens to the youth and takes something back out of this? I believe they do because, after, like, I, like you said, afterwards we compile all the data that we gather throughout talking in all of our individual rooms 
and we have a presentation. But not only that, we invite the current mayor at the time to speak on all the issues that we talk about. And the all five of the times that I have been, the mayor at the time has been very sincere and very open and very open-minded about the things that we talk about. And they have also planned ideas to go around them. At that moment, they said, oh, this is what we can do. This is another idea. This is what we can do. Um, so I feel as if that they really do listen to what we have to say. Now, I think it's much nicer and much better at the high school. I, it's been in different locations. You, way back, it was over at Massasoit, which was yes. nice because it was good exposure for the kids at Massasoit. However, transportation was an issue. This is easy mm -hmm. because the kids that are at the high school could just come there after school. The mm -hmm. middle school kids would get over there and they'd have transportation. Now, I understand you guys have a Facebook page for this? We do have a Facebook page. Uh, it's under Brockton Youth, the Mayor's Brockton Youth Council. Yeah. Um, if you go on, you can just like the page, follow us, uh, even email, and we have an email. You can message the person who runs it. Okay. Um, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible, really. So the email on the flyer is a testa t e s t a at c o b m a dot u s, which is City of Brockton, Mass. And the phone number for the mayor's office is five zero eight five eight zero seven one two three. Ashley Tester is the Promise Fellow. Yes, she is our Promise together. Fellow. And, uh, you know, there's a registration form that you have. I'm just going to hold it next to my face and we'll, we'll take a copy of it. But you got to register on ahead of time. And yes. You do have to have a parental signature if you're under 18. You do, you do. Um, we do allow people to sign up the day of who are over 18 because we have a lot of seniors who do come. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're in a middle school also because you're going to probably have your parent drive you, they can come in and sign you up too. That's okay. But we do prefer it if people were to sign up beforehand so we have a better idea of what we have for numbers. And if I remember right, I, I think like the DA's office is involved and I, I know in the past, I think they bought the pizza. Um, if I'm not mistaken. I know the mayor's office is really the impetus behind it, yeah. but I know law enforcement has cooperated, you know, the different agencies, you know, there's been, you know, folks there that businesses, there's goodie bags all over the place, there's stuff that you can yeah. grab, and it's just an all-around fun, fun event. So anything I didn't touch on that you want to add or, or um, you know, if you want to pitch it a little yourself instead of having <laughs> me do it? Uh, if I could just say anything, it's that, the youth, I'm inviting, me personally, I'm inviting all of the youth of Brockton to come and join us in the mayor, the 17th annual Mayor's Youth Summit this year. It's one of the funnest things you can come to. It's so great. You get your voice heard by us, the Brockton Youth Council, and you will see right in front of your faces that we will give that message that you give to us to the mayor and they will hear your voice right there and then. Perfect. I couldn't have said it better myself. I told you, you're, you're made for television. There <laughs> thank you. you. Um, thank you very much, uh, Brandon, for being there. And we're going to go over there. We're going to cover it, but we want people to go to it. They can watch it on TV, but we want them active. Yes. Okay? Yes. So thanks for being on. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.